All right, so the 4.5 anniversary is gonna drop tomorrow on Global with the new Festival Light Liz. The first Festival Light Liz in the game. You know, I said this as a joke when she was revealed and a lot of people commented, did you forget? There's already a Light Liz. Yes, I have forgot. <laughs> I wish I would forget that you sucked. Anyways. I can't believe they made that character anniversary. This character is good. The unit is good. The banner is good. Should you summon? Yes. That, that's a end of video. The the character is good. If you want to run goddesses, I don't really. I I'll be honest. I I don't feel like running her out of goddesses at the moment is very good because technically she can be run with humans or sins. That is part of her passive. She also counts for those. But I don't know, man. Why would you like? The Sin team, run by Bon. Bon doesn't count goddesses for his passive. Don't like that. And then the human team, run by LR Escanor. He, does, he needs humans. So, like, don't like that. So, it's goddesses. Mael is in the banner. So, if you pull him, if you don't have him, that's good. You can run goddesses with him. LR Margaret. And then, you're only missing the back unit. Not that matters much, because the back units for goddesses, I don't think are that good. The best back unit... For goddesses, is Tristan, which isn't even a goddess, <laughs> he's an unknown. But goddesses are like a team that's missing a back unit still. I, in my opinion, like, yes, it got Elat, which majority of you probably skipped, which, because it was like a regular banner. And you're probably saving for November and December festival. So your best bet is Tristan. I think Tristan's even better than Elat as a back unit, to be honest. And it's like 15% basic stats. Tristan doesn't even give basic stats, he just gives like defense related stats, which is fine, like it's good, but I would like some basic stats in there, you know what I mean? I think that the devs think that the Margaret basic stat buff from her passive is enough. 40%, that's very high. But most goddess matches, you're not getting 40% basic stats out of her. You're just not, you're just not. Like, you need to pop buffs five times. And on the goddess team, you're running Margaret, Liz and Mayo, you know how many buff cards you have? You have one, you have Margaret's, but... Goddess team is number one right now. That does not mean that it will be number one forever. I have a strong suspicion that the December festival, which historically is stronger than November festival, three times, oh, sorry, two times out of three of the last times that these hap th this happened, the December festival was stronger. Purgatory Mally dwarfed... The one Askinor. The one Ultima, sorry. And then Trader Mally demolished King. Now in 2020, <laughs> we had a slight difference where Assault and Mally was a little a little a little shit, but <laughs> you know, two times out of three, the December was better. So that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people are concerned about summoning for this banner. And I would be too. It's just that the banner value is too much in here. You have the four LRs which you know, I've seen from the comments a lot of you don't have Red Liz because she's a seasonal. And just so many good unfeatured characters. We don't know about the December festival, how it's going to be looking like. But, you know, good thing for you, if you play global, you can wait. You know, this banner in JP lasts until the 28th. On global, it lasts until, if I can find the banner on their website, which it's not looking like I can. It, uh, it's it, it's not looking like I can. I forgot how bad Global Passion Notes are. It will last the first, uh, I believe. So, you will have seen already what the next character is if you really want to save. Which, at that point, if you save until the December Festival, you're not going to summon for the November Festival. I, 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 think, I think that's what's going to happen if you do that. Because, okay, Liz is not very hype here. Like, in Japan, you know, the... <laughs> the low, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. The Japanese player base uh, loves loves waifu, lo mm, mm, big breast lo loves waifu, but the <laughs> the global player base is not so keen on it. And I I know like you guys don't care as much for you know Elizabeth. So if you see a new cool sick Meliodas, you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna summon for that. What the hell? So you know, but the, the banner is just so good that I'm like. I can't tell you not to summon. Now, Trader Melly is free. They're giving you a free Trader Melly 
from this event right here. You can get these tickets from all, all sorts of places. And boom, right here, you get free Trader Meliodas. If you somehow don't have them, that's good. If you have them, but you don't have dupes on him, or you're missing dupes, that's that's good too. That's really, really good. Trader Meli must have character for all boxes. What else is coming? Uh, Holy Relic for Mon Speed, which costs Snake Materials. The Relic effect itself is good, but the character is so bad that... Mm, <laughs> What's even the point? One day, relics for characters that aren't support, like Nanashi, will actually be good. Because now, Nanashi, when he got his relic, like, he didn't get stab off or anything. He continued being a terrible character to actually run the front, but it doesn't matter, because he's a back in, right? So, it doesn't matter. But, if only... Yeah, even if the effect actually worked in the back for Monspeed, it still wouldn't be good. It actually be in the front, but it, it, it still wouldn't be good. He's just a bad character, so it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it, when you're a bad character? One interesting new feature they dropped is this, so... I don't know how to do it, but... Oh, they changed the UI here completely. The, the search uh, feature for these beasts right here it's pretty cool now what i want to do is this oh yeah so hell boom skip take it all three at the same time and spawn all three beasts and i can do the run all three at the same time that's pretty nice man Farming farming demon mats <laughs> becomes easier and easier by the update, which is uh, which is the idea, right? Demon mats are one of the first things we ever had to grind in the game, so eventually making it easier and easier is the progression of it, right? Gem login event. We get a total of 200 gems over the course of 28 days. You can see here, start of 20, then you get five, five, some, some fives, some tens, right? Total up to 200, and also this ticket here as uh, daily login as well for you to get the melee, but also you get it from, not here, the boss battle. I, as you can see, have only done it once in a day. <laughs> um, I believe it rotates the boss, but you can buy the other tickets. I already bought, you know, I bought them here. Tickets here, here. 10 LR coins. LR coins, this update, very easy to get. They're giving us still the LR coins in the box. I haven't claimed my for the day. Plus 10 there. And I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a little bit more as well that you get from this update. So many LR coins, which, I mean, if you are someone that can't even do like the second difficult, the second highest difficulty or third highest difficulty in Hero Arena, it, it's not even like LRs are being gate kept from you anymore. Now the tickets you get through the melee. Uh, I believe all I, I didn't show all the characters. You get a uh, green Liz, which is whatever. Blue melee, which is you know also whatever. But obviously here you get through the melee. Blue Elat. I got another multi. So you get two multis on the banner for free in the form of tickets. And interesting thing is. Last time, the last fa last festival, I closed the game back soon, or uh, minimized the game. We had only tickets, right? Like we we didn't get gems as a login bonus. We really only got tickets, which kind of forced us to use whatever we got on the banner that was there at the time, and it was bad, right? But now they're giving us some tickets and some gems. I think that this is the best combination of the two because even if you're like, okay, I'm not going to summon for this banner because I want to summon for the next December festival. In any case, like the banner is so good that getting free summons on it is nice. Yeah, because you also get a multi from here. You get some tickets. Also, you get these uh, from here as well. So you want to be doing those too, of course. In terms of like original stuff from the celebration there's not really much there's also this thing which is in like every celebration now just get the uh, rewards for time existing 
<laughs> There's no other condition for those rewards. It's just, do you exist? You get reward. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't show. Here's a food you get. I, I wish that instead of making these celebration foods, they would just add new foods. So this is this food will only work until the celebration is done. It's okay. That's cool. In in death match um, or uh, raid bosses. You get 100% more costume upgrade materials. That's nice, right? But I wish this was a permanent food and not something that's gonna, you know, vanish in a month. You know, just doesn't really... I don't really care that much for a, a food that does vanish. And then King Exchange, stuff like that. That's really it for the update. Uh, these celebrations, they just copy and paste everything from the previous celebration, pretty much. There's nothing new. Like, the rewards are similar, they just change what the rewards are. For example, like, this hockey event, we've seen this, like, a hundred times already, right? And every time, there's, like, a cool reward. Like, I think the last time was Freyr, and it's like, bro, the, the free Freyr, that, that's sick. And now it's it's Trader Melly, like, it's cool. But nothing new, right? So, that's it.